Hi YouTube, it's Ricky. I just wanted to do a video on um, coupon shopping. It's one of the things that I spend most of my time um, during the day doing. Um, I kind of look at it like it's my job because um, I don't have one and I want to save as much money as possible. So I figure every dollar I save is like earning a dollar because if we're going to buy something anyway, then might as well save money on it. So, um, I just wanted to show you the way that I do it because it is literally the easiest thing in the world um, doing it this way. What I do is, um, I'll show you, I use Google Reader and it's through Gmail. So if you have a Gmail account, um, you can just click on the link right there. Um, and it brings you to a page that looks just like this and if you click you can click all items and it shows you all of the posts of everyone that I subscribe to now these are all of the blogs that I subscribe to Couponers United, Crazy Coupon Mommy, I Heart CVS, I Heart Wags, Penny Pension Mom, all all sorts of different ones. Um, now each one has kind of its own unique thing. Like I know Hip to Save, they have a lot of readers that comment a lot. Um, so if I'm ever kind of confused on a deal, I like to go to this website and see if people have commented on commented on it um, to see how they did their uh, shopping and stuff like that um, where a lot of the other ones don't have a whole lot of comments so um, I refer to this one when I'm ever having trouble with like a certain deal that I'm trying to do anyway so you see you can see that it's a lot of websites that I'd have to go to every single day um, but because I have Google Reader it pulls everybody's posts right here now if you go up to expanded it'll open every every post from everyone and so all I do is click this button right here next and I just scan through them scallop sweet potatoes the recipe I just click next see what's next uh, another recipe PF Chang's not interested rent two movies um we have Netflix so I kind of pass by that what is Groupon I'm part of it zoo Lily and I just kind of go through real quick until I find something that I like Walgreens update so I shop at Walgreens a lot so I would star that and then that puts that post right there so for easy access so I look through and I read and I find what I want to do so um, I'm gonna be doing the Almay deal this week so I'm curious as to what is um, what she's talking about. So she's saying that um, the Almaden deal doesn't work for me like it did last time. If you have a book, it's programmed, blah, blah, blah. So basically, Almay has a deal right now where you get 40% off, plus um, there's a coupon for Walgreens that is um, $2 off, and then there's a manufacturer coupon that's $2 off. And you can stack a manufacturer and a store coupon. So, um, you basically can get free Alme. So she's saying it didn't work for her, so that's a good note just to keep in mind. But if you're trying to find new blogs, I happened across this one. It's topmommyblogs.com. And it's got this little cartoon character up in there. And these are um, voted by the readers. So every once in a while when I'm bored, I kind of look through here. And the way you get it added to your Google Reader is let's say I want to do I want this blog so I click on it it brings me to this page which is loading very slowly and you look for a little symbol like this and a lot of people have it different colors different little things some kind of make it custom you click that and you click Add to Google Reader. 
and for whatever reason I got logged out but um anyway it adds it to your to your list of um, websites that it goes to so basically you're able to read through 30 people's blogs um, within you know spending 10 10 15 minutes on it a day just flipping through real quick I'm not sure what's going on but um, anyway so then when you want to look for a deal and you want to try and create a little shopping scenario, this is what I do. I click on my starred items, ones that I've starred. And when I'm scanning through, sometimes I pay a lot of attention to them, but mostly if I see it's from Walgreens or CVS, I go ahead and just like, especially if it's, um, let's see, if it's labeled like Walgreens weekly matchups for three to four nine, I always star those. And what I do is it looks like this. It'll some every website's different, but um, this one has the non-register reward deals. And I just make a list. I get an envelope like so, and on it I write Walgreens. And I wrote, I'm gonna want to get Alme. It's forty percent off minus my coupons. Quaker Oats is on sale for $1.50 minus a dollar coupon that's in the red plum, the 1 2 red plum, which is January 2nd, and equals 50 cents. The Lysol Nutri Air is on sale for $2.50. Um, those are coupons are in the Smart Source March 20th, so grab those. And then Walgreens also has a book, um, a coupon book, and so they have a store coupon for a dollar off of two. So it equals basically 50 cents a piece for those. And I make my list, and then I put my coupons in there when I pull them. And then my CVS list. And I just, I, I shorthand a lot of stuff like um, B1G1, buy one, get one free in the 313 red plum and then I always put what I'm gonna pay so you pay $1.98 and then you receive $1.98 ECB which is extra care bucks and extra care bucks are um, it's basically like money we can only use it in um, CVS so it's basically like a store credit so you pay $1.98 and then they give you $1.98 so it equals basically free anyway and then that's what I take with me shopping and um, it's seriously the easiest thing in the world. The hardest part of it is getting coupons. Now I subscribe to uh, two magazines, or not two magazines, um, two newspapers. And I do spend like $8 a month on newspapers. But honestly, you get, um, usually you get a Procter & Gamble coupon book in there and then um, a smart source usually every week. So you get a lot of coupons um, for your $8. And I don't know, I'm sure it's different pricing for everywhere. But um, then I also do like the free subscriptions to like Baby Talk, and sometimes there's coupons in there. Um, I buy a lot of coupons online, especially if it's an item that I'm gonna be using. Like Alme, um, I went on eBay and for $3.98, so for $4, I bought 20 coupons because um, with those coupons, you can get free Alme this week. So um, honestly, it's the hardest thing is getting the coupons and keeping organized. But um, the easiest part is just reading other people's blogs. I know a lot of people um, don't like coupon shopping because they don't like matching the sales up with the coupons. Well, these people, they do it as their job. Um, that's what they do for work. And so, I mean, why not just take their information and go to the store? So I literally read their blogs, write down what I want, and go to the shopping, and that's it. I do spend a lot of time just because I like reading through everyone's, um, because every once in a while, someone discovers something that maybe a different blog didn't. And so you can find out really good deals and that's why I subscribe to like 30 different ones because every once in a while you find something that's a really awesome deal but only one person posted about it. 
so anyway um, honestly I would set up with if you don't have a Gmail account I would set up a Gmail account because it has I mean it connects to everything it connects to YouTube it connects to the Google Reader they have their own photo thing on there I upload every single photo I take I upload it um, to my Gmail photos for five dollars a year I have like 10 gigabytes of storage and um, I take a lot of pictures and I'm only at like 5% I think so um, Gmail is amazing and um, it really makes the whole um, searching the internet for deals and stuff so much easier because some some websites are set up so complicated that you have to like go to each tab and within that tab you have to find what store you want and it's really confusing and the best thing is right here the search <laughs> if I want to search Walmart it searches through all of those blogs that I'm subscribed to and I always go into list when I'm um, searching for something so that I can just read the titles but I could just look real quick to see what's what Walmart deals are Walmart free pure and what um, one sheets Purex. Um free renews it cones <laughs> new NYC color coupon 19 cents so if I'm going to Walmart I can just real quick see what's on sale um, diapers I spend a lot of money on well actually I don't spend very much money on diapers because I stock up when they're very cheap <laughs> but diapers are expensive switch it to list and diaper.com discounts um, Let's see best deals of the week there's usually a lot of people sometimes put um, like where to buy diapers and stuff like that hot three dollars fifty cent huggy diaper coupon that's a really good coupon right there if you like huggies um, more hot huggies coupons and Walgreens deals they tell you where to buy them so yeah I mean it really is um, an awesome website and it makes everything so easy um, if you're trying to learn how to coupon shop. Um, I, I search for stuff all the time. Now um, another thing that a lot of the websites have is a coupon database and I just have that bookmarked um, so I can go to it whenever I want to. and. Um, what you can do is you can make out your shopping list like if you're just doing grocery shopping and go to one of the coupon databases and um, like if you are buying I don't know pasta you can search for pasta coupons and it'll tell you which um, booklet it's in like the smart source or the red plum and you just go to that booklet clip your coupon and then um, next to um, on your shopping list just make sure you know that you have a coupon for it so that you don't forget to check out and that's it um, so that's really a useful tool as well and I know a lot of the websites have those I only have bookmarked two of them because they, they pretty much have every single coupon that you could imagine <coughs> excuse me oh, oh. <laughs> I dropped the camera almost um, the way I do my coupons is, one sec, I have these, sorry, I guess my camera doesn't really like rotate, and then in there I have all of the books, the coupon books, and so that's the Red Plum, Smart Source. And I just keep all of them in here. That's the Procter and Gamble, and then just miscellaneous coupons that I get in the mail and stuff. But I just keep them right there. And then you can also print coupons, like let's see, like these. Tons of coupons you can print. 
and that's another way to save a lot of money is to um, just print your coupons. The only thing is you can only print usually about two per um, computer, which we have like three computers. So if it's an item that's really um, got an awesome deal on it, I go to each computer and print it. So I ha could essentially get six things. So anyway, um, it is, I would say, honestly, the, <laughs> one of the hardest things um, is just getting com comfortable and familiar with each store's policy because every store is different and there are stores that are coupon friendly and there's some that aren't and every cashier doesn't necessarily know their policy and so if you know it by the like the back of your hand you can go in there and have a successful trip um, but if you don't really know what you're doing and you're kind of scared and they try saying you can't do this or you can't do that and if you don't know the policy you're gonna lose out on a lot of money because nine times out of ten you really can use do what you're trying to do um, they just don't know what they're talking about so confidence is like a major thing with coupon shopping because I mean I've had cashiers just get downright rude with me saying I can't use a coupon for that item because it's on sale or it yeah it's really ridiculous that they don't know their policies but um, I will a bunch of links on this video um, for anyone who just wants more information um, some of my favorite blogs and stuff I'll put all of the links to each blog and then um, reference links to each store and their coupon policy and um, I might just make a blog and then put the link to that in this video because I don't know if uh, YouTube limits how much information you can put in the description so I think I'll do it like that I'll just put a link uh, a link to my blog which all I do on my blog is I basically take pictures of the stuff I buy <laughs> just for fun but um, I don't do it for a job or anything um, my blog and all of that and I just do it just because my family thinks it's funny um, to see how much stuff I buy <laughs> so anyway um, I know this video is kind of lengthy but there is so much more to um, coupons than people are aware of and if you just take the time and you set up yourself um, with a good like routine and um, like the gmail reader I think Yahoo has a reader but I'm not familiar with it but if you just set yourself up on a good system I mean it really really is so easy and I hate to see people check out at a store and pay $30 for a pack of diapers and wipes because I mean you can get those for so cheap and um, it's insane how much money people spend and they don't realize how easy it is to save money it is so easy you just have to become familiar with it and become confident and like I said a lot of coupons you can print online and so you don't even have to have the newspaper if you don't want to but um, there are a lot of good coupons in the newspaper and that's why I get two copies and sometimes um, I actually go to the store and buy more because to me it's worth it. Um, but anyway, let me know if you have any questions whatsoever and I'm just going to um, put tons and tons of links and as much information as I can um, because I would love for every one of you who are watching this to be able to start saving tons of money and getting stuff for free it's insane the grocery stores aren't so great with getting stuff for free but the drug stores like Walgreens and CVS I mean I feel like I'm stealing sometimes I get so much stuff for free it's crazy but anyway um I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later bye